Hello and welcome to today's talk about RNAi or RNA interference. I'd like to introduce with explaining the usual processes that happen in a cell. That can be summarized with the central dogma of molecular biology. To keep it simple, if DNA is transcribed into mRNA, it is usually translated to an amino acid sequence which forms a protein. But Craig Mello and Andrew Fire discovered that double-stranded RNA had silencing effects to complementary mRNAs. And this was a great breakthrough. There are two main types of RNA interference. On the one hand we have the siRNA which is normally used to silence genes in model organisms. And there are also microRNAs, which are non-coding RNAs that form these hairpin structures. Now we want to talk about the mechanism of how RNA interference works. The double-stranded siRNA is cleaved into smaller fragments by an enzyme called dicer. Another protein from the argonaut family then binds to the siRNA and discards the sense strand. Together with other proteins, argonaut and the antisense RNA form RISC, an RNA-induced silencing complex. Since the antisense strand is complementary to the sense strand of the mRNA, the RISC complex is able to pair with the mRNA to either inhibit translation or cleave the mRNA. Both results in silencing. In research, double-stranded RNA is often used for silencing or gene knockdown. If we want to find out a gene's function, we usually make a mutant variant of this gene and compare the phenotypic differences. With RNA interference, we just synthesize double-stranded RNA complementary to a gene of interest and introduce this double-stranded RNA into an organism like C. elegans. We can then see a gene knockdown in this organism without making a mutant. Thanks for watching and if you still have some questions, just put them in the comments.